The cold email template that I'm about to share with you has been responsible for generating thousands and thousands of appointments across multiple different industries for not only ourselves, but our clients. It has generated hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars in revenue. And that's exactly what I'm going to be sharing with you throughout this video. So if you want to generate more appointments through cold outreach using email, then this is the video for you. If you don't know who I am, my name is Lawrence. I've built and scaled two agencies, Lawrence Marketing and now Hey You, where we help other agencies just like you to get more appointments on your calendar. So enough about me. What is this formula that we use when writing effective cold email? Well, there's five main points that I want to go over. And the first one is all about understanding your prospects. This is something that is massively overlooked. And if it's not been overlooked, it's been done to a level that isn't high enough. And I know you're probably thinking, know your avatars, know your audience, blah, blah, blah. I heard it all before, boring. Yeah, get it. But this thing is probably the most important aspect to not only the success of cold email, but the success of your business overall. What a lot of companies used to do is they used to, when they were launching a new product, they would hire a copywriter and marketing teams to come in and write the most effective sales letter before the product was ever built or the service was ever delivered. And then what they would do is they would take the findings that they found from their target audience. They would write this amazing sales letter, for example, about what the product is, what it can do. And then the business would then go and create that product. So they're actually just creating the thing that the audience wants, as opposed to doing it the other way around, as creating this product and trying to get the audience to want it, need it, like it. It's much easier to do it the other way around. And when you understand your audience really well, what you're able to do in your cold email is just write what they want to read as opposed to what you want them to read and therefore what you want them to like and what you want them to get excited about, which is very difficult to do. But when you understand your audience, you're really able to just write what they want and then it makes the whole process so much easier. So take me for example, used to run a digital ads agency and now we help other agencies grow. I know my audience so well because I am my audience. And so I'm able to just write the things that my audience wants. I know what their pains are. I know what their struggles are. And I'm able to just address them in that email. So when you have real clear understanding of who your ideal prospects are, you can just without sounding like a broken record, you can simply just write what they want to hear. That's the most important part of not just cold email, but your business. You can just offer what they want and it makes your life so much easier. So understanding your prospects is going to be number one, and it ties in very closely with number two as well. And number two is all around the offer. It's about not only just understanding your audience and writing what they want to hear, but giving them a reason to take action. So working around removing risk for your clients, about talking about the outcome of your services as opposed to the mechanics of your service. So a lot of people fall into this trap of explaining what they do, what the business owner does, and the prospect who doesn't know you, they've never heard of you before, and you've just popped into their inbox. They don't care what you do. They don't care how long you've been in business. All they care about is what they can get from you. So you need to make sure that when you're talking about offers and what you can do for your clients, you talk about things from an outcome perspective, what the client is going to get from your services as opposed to what your services actually are. Very kind of small change, but massive difference in terms of the results that you're going to see from your cold emails. Number three is all about subject lines. We can create this amazing email copy. We can put loads of time and attention into it. If the thing doesn't get opened in the first place, then it's all for nothing. So we want to make sure that our subject lines are doing their job. And the job and the responsibility of a subject line is to get the email opened. It is not to inform the prospect about what the email is going to be about. We don't want to be kind of 
saying one thing in the email in the subject line sorry and then something completely different in the email because that's just going to create a big disconnect but we need to remember that the responsibility and the sole responsibility of the subject line is to get the thing opened in the first place and when it comes to subject lines simplicity will always be complexity we want to be keeping it vague so we're not telling the prospect this is the content of the email in the subject line so therefore you don't need to open the email intriguing subject lines will work very well because we want them to think what is that open it and then they read the email and go from there so when it comes to subject lines simplicity will beat complexity keep it vague keep it intriguing and simple subject lines like question for first name info for first name simple vague intriguing subject lines will work well number four is all about avoiding association and when i say avoiding association what i mean here is to stop the prospect's brain triggering when they're reading the email and thinking this is an email from a complete stranger a cold sales email and then them switching off and just flicking it into the deleted folder we do that by kind of breaking some habits that the brain has already created so for example if we see particular lines particular sentences particular words inside an email we can automatically associate those with either them coming from a complete stranger or them coming from a friend and our brain can kind of track those patterns in the email and then it will either switch off or it will pay more attention to it and we want to make sure that our emails don't fall into that kind of pattern of this is a cold email from a stranger but more into the pattern of i need to kind of dig in a little bit deeper here and we can do that we can break that pattern by avoiding from using certain words a lot of emails start off with the reason i am reaching out is because what we want our emails to do is we want them to look like they're coming from somebody that they know a friend a colleague whatever it may be, somebody that they've met before. And when you start an email saying, I'm reaching out because, then automatically, red flag, you're a stranger, delete. If we can then break those habits by avoiding those words, but also using, whether it be humor, a strange image, something to disrupt their pattern of thinking and get them intrigued. So we want to avoid association and stop doing what 99% of people that send cold emails do basically is the top and bottom of it so that is number four it is avoiding association and number five the last point on the list is making sure that you only have one goal or one call to action of the email so many times i see people ask to schedule in a call to go and click on the website to go check out this blog we want to just make sure that we have one call to action and one goal of the email so whether it is reply to the email whether it is click on the link to schedule in a call whatever it may be we just want to give the prospect one instruction one thing to do and not two not three always just one you can repeat that one thing three or four times but just one instruction there we have it there are the five main points that you need to consider when you are writing a cold email and it's the five points that we go through with all of our clients helping them to craft and create cold friendly emails and if you want help creating your cold friendly emails and getting more appointments on your calendar then the first link in the description if you click on that you will be sent to a video where you can find out more about what we do and you can schedule in a call and we can discuss whether or not we can help you to grow your agency and take things to the next level so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one